Alrighty. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what character Leia is going to pull out. I mean, I, I know a lot of these tough players like to try out secondaries or mm -hmm. someone else. Hey, and going he's for the mark. Okay. Yeah, and we got Ness. I mean, this matchup was pretty bad in Smash 4. I I mean, just theory crafting. I feel like it's kind of the same thing in Ultimate, but Ness has got a little bit better in his in this game, so yeah, we'll right. see. Martha's lost a lot of stuff in this game, too. She doesn't... A he. I always say she. The woman. But uh, he doesn't have the uh, as many confirms, the jab confirms. He's not going to get like huge combos on you. And the tippers are a little less consistent, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Leo makes it work somehow. Uh, if you if you watch him play, he like lands 90% tippers yeah, somehow. It's crazy. Yeah, but right now, Lumbri giving Leo just a good run for his money so far in this first stock. Sometimes the first stock can be a little bit scary for the top player, like the favorite to win. But then like by the third or... or even the next game, they start to figure it out. No double jump, but he's back on the ledge. He's fine. He uses the PSI magnet, push him off a bit. Yeah, I mean, if if Leo's getting that close to you, it's it's not probably not intentional. He he's very uh, good at just playing that game where he's just right outside of your range. That's why he loves these sword characters so. Ooh, goes for the back air that time. Caught Leo in some bad DI. Not quite gonna be able to get the kill yet, but run in up smash. Yo yo. Yeah, it looked like he kind of low profiled the back air, or just like March back air sucks, one of the two. And he was able to get the kill there. First stock, first blood going to Lumbury, and he's not he's done yet. Grab. He's continuing at the ledge here. Okay, get side B. That was very nice. I like that. Just direct no air dodge away. Woo! <laughs> if that landed, yeah, that I counter. Yeah, trying to go for that there, just to get that counter hit. So that would have definitely killed Lumbury. In a stunning fashion. Yeah, Lumbrae looking really nice so far. Okay, yeah, keeps him safe. Yeah, he's got to figure out how to clear, clear out the stock soon. There we go, oh, forward tilt yeah, at the spaced. neutral getup. Very nice, yeah. Okay, yeah, managed to hit him out of that up It does have iframes off uh, when it's in the air, but uh, at the top is when Martha's vulnerable. <laughs> Back throw, not quite enough to do it yet. Goes for the edge guard, yeah. not quite. He's he, he playing a very safe edge guard game. Doesn't go in too deep because he loses his jump. He could potentially die to like run off counter or something like that. If you have to, if he has to PK rocket. Yeah, you don't want to just give Leo stock in this situation. So I, I agree with it from Lumbre. But sometimes you also need to take a little risk. Uh, yeah. risk. Mm -hmm. Right now, Lumbre is being very calm, collected, just trying to figure out how to return back to neutral. And now he's got it. Tries to go for the up smash, but the Nair beats it out. Unfortunate, but you, you can tell Lumbre's thinking, all right, I just need one grab, one back air, one anything. Ness is very solid at those high even percents to try and seal the deal. There yeah, we go. I mean, he's he up two stocks to one. He too. He can kill you with the yo-yos. He's not a character to be slept on when it comes to kill percent. Oh, that force smash, not quite. He had to shield up anyway, so even if it did hit, it would just have been some shield damage lost. Oh, <laughs> almost yeah. fell off there. That was pretty close. Mm -hmm. Tipper up air coming in from Leo. I don't know if Leo intentionally did that, but he's been getting hit by like the string of fairs, but he only got hit by fair one that time. So that was minus on hit, and then he was able to follow over the up air afterwards to seal the stock. If not if it was intentional, that's really great positioning and micro spacing from Leo. Oh, death? Not quite. I thought he was gonna like go for baseball bat or something at the end. But Lumbre with some pretty good control so far. Oh, I just look behind and everybody is watching this game. Yeah, they want to see their boy see. defend SoCal, man. Yeah. It's already looking good so far. This has got to keep himself controlled, collected. This is... Yeah, so this is rough oh, that's it. Oh, he gets Nair. Never mind. Oh, I thought that was here. back air, not Nair. Oh, he went for it! Oh, that actually oh. still does it! Okay. Not enough space to come back, and all of a sudden, all of SoCal watching right now. You know, Lumbre look <laughs> he's looking back at everyone like... <laughs> oh, man. Focus on the game, you know, <laughs> knucklehead. He's got, he's, he's got this, man. He's got this. Dude, Leo is is a str very strong player, though. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not very much the pl type of player to get shook. 
in uh, in Smash 4, he was, <laughs> definitely. He, like, didn't have as much experience on his belt, so every time he dropped into losers, he, like, he would always, like, lose early. Yeah. But now he's a very seasoned player. Now he's kind of, like, in zero shoes where yeah. if uh, he wins, he can usually bring it back even if he's in losers. I definitely feel like Ness is, like, a slept-on character, too, where we don't see him in the top upper echelons of play, but he's definitely able to compete. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't know. I think I think Ness was like very strong. He, he was like very strong early meta, and then everyone kind of just stopped playing him again. And then I feel like if people like Lumbre uh, come out a little bit more, then people will realize that oh yeah, right, this character's freaking dumb. It's like every week in Ultimate, there's like a new character that's like dumb in people's eyes. Right now it's Game and Watch. Next week it'll be like freaking I don't know, Wii Fit Trainer or something like something stupid like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if it'll end up being Ness here with the. Uh Lumbre taking the lead over Leo here in the second game of the set. Oh, goes for the yo-yo. Yeah, you can't do that to Marth because the Uppy will trade with you. Okay. Well, he was able to experiment with that, uh, figure out that it's not gonna, probably going to work. We'll have to see. Uh, now, all of a sudden, Leo's the one that has the lead. He's not playing behind this time. So we'll have to see if this changes the pace of the match because when you're playing behind against Ness, it can definitely be difficult. Okay, yeah, there we go. that's why I was going to say it's so important that Lumbre take this stock. Right now, well, he's got <laughs> layoff station. <laughs> Did you see that? He just stood there. Yeah, he just stood there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's always hilarious when somebody's got some kind of crazy movement trick they're doing. And, yeah, we don't break. Oh. All right, that was nice. I'll give it to you, Leo. You you are kind of good at this game. Nothing else, though, obviously. But that was very nice, actually. Nair one setup into a drag down. Got to forward smash tipper afterwards. That was oh, very nice. Up. That's crazy that you can do that. Yeah. So Marth, frame one, uh, that up he comes out and uh, has invulnerability, I believe, as well. Mm -hmm. um, when it's in the air. So he SDI'd up from the fire and then he uh, hit the up so he could get out of it and punish Lumbre when he was coming in to try to hit him. All right, Lumbre, still a little bit behind, but I feel like uh, Lumbre's one of those characters where if he at least uh, keeps you himself with the game, Lumbre then he can like, he, he, yeah, <laughs> he, can, he can still download, he can still get information even if he's probably gonna lose his next game. We'll have to see, I mean, Leo's still one of the best in the world. Yeah. This game's looking about, looking over though. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Down tilt to fair, interesting. Yeah, that was I very think nice. That was down miss tech there, though. Yeah, down tilt, uh, miss tech, went for forward tilt, and got a tipper off of that. I think both of them did, because it's hard to get uh, tech chase situations with Marth because his windows are either really high or really low because of the tipper mechanic. Lucina's is usually more consistent. It's around the ranges where it can lead to kills, but Leo makes it work. He got the tipper off of that. Was able to set up into a forward tilt. That's gonna be two stock for Leo. Very nice comeback there, maybe able to respond to that first game where it was really close between both players, but once Leo took that zero to death, he was able to roll with it. So we'll have to see if Lumbre can try and survive uh, another scenario like that. Yep, all right, looks like we're going to Town City. SoCal watches with, oh, maybe not? Is there a character switch coming out? No, no. okay, oh, they went back to character select. And that's right, I got confused. Smash 4 and uh, this game haven't switched up. But we're going into game 3 here. SoCal watches with rapt attention. Can the number one player in the world be upset here at uh, MSN? We'll yeah, find out. we'll see. I, I agree going back to the stage. I don't think it was really the stage's fault. It was just Leo's... It was literally just a zero to death on this stage. had nothing to do with that. I'm going to be perfectly honest. So let's see. Okay, early PK Thunder 2. Just so that he can make it back to the stage. It's like, okay, I'll take the free damage. Just make sure I can make back to the stage. Otherwise, I'm going to get edge guard and it's going to be over. Yeah, Lumbre uh, has done a great job in that he has not been edge guard by Leo, which is, you know, I mean, Ness's struggle has always been his recovery, and Mark is a great character for getting those edge guards. Uh, All of a sudden, Lumbre on a hair. roll, though. I love that little wait he did earlier. Oh, what a gimp there with that upbeat. Yeah, uses the tail, makes it so that he loses his momentum and airspeed. Able to come back to the stage, but he's not. And all of a sudden, bringing things back around. I think he's yeah, catching Leo, pressing a up. bit too many buttons. Yeah. Ooh, nice counter <laughs> from Leo there. I'm still not used to Mart's English voice. My turn. 
Fun fact, he is voiced by the American Sasuke voice. Uh, same same guy, Yuri Lowenthal, very uh, talented voice actor. But anyways, who also is, also is very talented is Lomberg right now, looking like he's trying to overlap stocks oh, yeah, with MK gonna... Leo. Ooh. Oh, that's, so, that's such a lucky break for for Lumbre. Are you kidding me? Yeah, somebody fix that up smash, dude. Okay, he made it back to the other side. All right, and the smash tip forward, forward tilt. Been dead. Oh, man. Okay, but Lumbre all of a sudden 98% on this Marth. He's got to be careful. If he starts getting a little bit too greedy, then he can easily lose his stock too. So Yeah, I mean, we could... It's really scary. Whenever you see Leo get one of these hits, you know that he's going to be putting on some serious damage and keeping Lumbre in disadvantage for a while. Yeah, trying to go for these Rees, not quite finding anything yet. And keeps pressing buttons as he's trying to land, just trying to get out of tumble. Very difficult situation to be in. He comes back. He gets the grab. Yeah, run up shield. Positional advantage is so important for a player like Leo. He's so good at... Ooh. Forward tilt? Forward tilt just kicks him right in the shin. That worked? Okay, alrighty. I That's why it's it. dirty, dude. Oh, he got himself a chance at another string, not quite. Oh, oh. goes the up smash, but out of position a little bit. Okay. Up, up throw. throw. Interesting mix up here. Oh. Yo, in, in some alternate dimension, MKLeo literally just died to that. <laughs> like, that was such a scary situation to be in. Yeah. Oh, nice tipper there from Leo. Okay, but here we go. Oh, this is so close. Yeah. Leo brought it all the way back. Even though he was down like 100%, he was just kept himself alive a just a little bit longer than he needed to. And all of a sudden, we're tied right now. Ooh, that platform just on the very tip of it, Lombre's, trying to come back. Lombre has some stones just sitting on that platform. And uh, oh, that's he's it. dead. Yeah, unfortunate. He thought he could come back. But he, man, he brought MK Leo to last dog, yeah.